Hey everyone! Thank you must still be in the Christmas spirit because they sent over their new Alpha X200 wireless earbuds. They wanted me to check them out, test them, and review them. So if you're interested in an unbiased review that tells it like it is with doing more than just showing what's in the box, stay tuned. Yes, you heard me right. These are the Venkyo Alpha X200 wireless earbuds. They come in at 50 bucks at the time of this video, and they represent a large discount over, say, Apple's wireless AirPods that come in around $130 or more, and they don't look ridiculous like the Apple earbuds do. Let's check out the box quickly and see what you get. Actually, it's more of a rectangle, if I'm honest. It has eight sides, or faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. It has strange symbols and hieroglyphics on it. Upon opening the rectangle, you see the carrying case for the earbuds that also doubles as the charging case, and with its built-in battery, it has a decent weight to it. On the side of the case, there is a USB port for charging the charging case. Opening it up, you can see the earbuds. The metal lid seems like it doesn't have any tension or locking system. It kind of just does what it wants. On the front of the case, you have the screen. It shows you the power capacity of the left and right earbud and the overall battery for the charging case, which is a 3500 milliamp hour battery. The earbuds look cool, if not a bit large but they do have different size tips that you can choose from to make it fit your ear better. I said the Apple earbuds looked ridiculous, and it's true. Maybe someone will think these look like hearing aids, but it's all personal preference. The large section here is touch sensitive, so you get touch controls to answer phone calls, control music, etc. We can touch on that later, pun intended. Under the earbuds are the contacts to charge while they are in the case. The earbuds use Bluetooth 5.0 and claim to have 7 hours of listening time and 5 hours of talk time. The rest of the rectangle contains a micro USB to USB-A adapter to connect a USB device to the charging case. Yes, you can use the earbud charging case to charge any USB device and it will provide 5 volts at 1 amp, as long as you have the USB cable for it. It seems like a small thing, but it's a really super useful feature. I thought it was cool, and it's something the Apple charging case won't do. You also get a USB charging cable to charge the charging case, and these rubber bits to change the size of the in-ear part of the earbud. And in case you were waiting, here are the nerdy specs from the manual. They came out of the charging case already in pairing mode. They paired with my phone quickly and effortlessly. They sound pretty nice, and if you get them in your ear nice and snug, and if you crank the bass up in your app or program you're using to play music from, the bass is actually pretty good. It's not just the bass, though. The sound quality is very good. They won't replace my Skull Candy Hesh 3s, but they are for sure my second place. When putting the earbuds into the case, they snap into their place, and they will turn off and charge. When pulled out, they will come back on and try to connect to something. The earbuds have a microphone, so you can use them to make or receive calls, phone calls. They are compatible with Android, iOS, and Windows, and Venku says they have noise canceling, but I couldn't tell any difference with them on or off, honestly. They stayed in place well for me and never seemed like they were going to fall out. And they are also somewhat water resistant. Don't go deep sea diving with them, but if you're caught in the rain, you're probably fine. I've been using them as much as I can over the last few weeks, and they never became uncomfortable at all unless I had them in my ear for four plus hours. The touch controls are really nice to have. You can control the volume, the music playback, and phone calls. It's a nice touch unintended. And this sort of thing is only available on the AirPod Pros, which costs around $250. The touch controls do pose the occasional annoyance, though. Since the surface area for the touch controls are so large, 
Sometimes you'll unintentionally touch them from time to time, pausing your song accidentally or summoning your Google Assistant, or even turning the earbud off. Once, they did start to act a bit strange, skipping the tracks forward, but turning them off and back on. Stop that, and this only happened once. I also wish they would turn up a bit louder than they do. They aren't quiet, but sometimes I like to rock, and I must have it loud. Only minor nuisances, though. Another thing I noticed on my Pixel 2 XL, which is my cell phone, is the sound was a tiny bit out of sync when watching videos. It didn't do this on my computer, so I decided to dig into the Bluetooth settings on my phone. I disabled the HD audio and AAC option on my phone, and the delay went away. My guess is the decoder in the earbuds isn't quite fast enough for that much data, so a delay was introduced. If you experience this on your phone or PC, then you might want to look for a similar setting. This really was my only complaint, but since I figured out the issue, I don't have anything really bad to report. These things are pretty cool and are a great value. Sometimes there is a catch with inexpensive tech, but not this time. I totally recommend them. There's a link in the description if you're interested. Thanks for watching.